Hey guys, it's your girl Simply Tanika Dion and welcome back to my channel. Alrighty, today I am going to be unboxing another Trend Mood box. Um, I did do my first Trend Mood box, Volume 6. Um, I think it was earlier this month or the end of last month, I can't remember. But it was my first Trend Mood box and I really, really loved it. I will go ahead and link that above or in the description. Um, and so now they came out with another one, the Trend Mood box um, with only black owned products um, inside. This is not volume 7, it's just an uh, extra box that they did. It's just Trend Mood box and um, with only uh, black owned products inside. So I am really happy to get this one. Now, this one was um, $39, I believe. If I'm wrong, I will correct it on the screen, but I believe this one was $39. Um, all the products will be listed below as usual. And yeah, let's go ahead and get right into what is in the box. And it's the same Trend Mood box, the purple color here. All right, and then open it and it's all nicely tissue paper okay I should have showed you first before I okay well it looks like this before I opened it uh, just now before I unhooked it but yeah just tissue paper and then a little bit of a bubble wrap okay all right so yeah okay so, here we go. First thing. Okay, first. Okay, first thing it looks like it is, is something. Which I'm not sure what this is yet. But it is from Zodiac. And it's a 10% coupon for Zodiac Cosmetics. By, let me open this so I can see it better. by black zodiac and i guess they have palettes uh brushes highlighters just the regular stuff that uh you know makeup companies have so that's cute cute i've never heard of the brand before so you know but that's okay but it's still black owned and this is zodiac cosmetics this is what the packaging looks like and okay so this is probably a highlight that's pretty sure this is a highlight whoa but it's bronzy enough to be a bronzer but it's his color is Zeus but look it looks like a bronziness don't it oh and then you just push you know sort of like uh, one of those um, powders or what have you and you just push your brush down in there and the product comes out it's like a push and the product comes out okay but I'm thinking it's a highlight but yeah, that's cutie cute cute. And let me see if it says for sure. There's no card in here, so you know. And no prices with Trend Mood Box um either, but the products will be listed below, like I said. But yeah, okay. Whatever. But it's uh Zodiac Cosmetics and I believe this is a highlighter. If it's not a highlighter, then it's a bronzer. We'll see. Whichever way I decide to use it, we will see. Okay, so that is the first product. And, alright, the next one is this OPV Metal Liquid Glider. I mean, <laughs> Metal and Liquid Glitter. So, this is like a liquid liner. Glitter. Oh, that's cute. That's like another uh, pretty color for melanin enriched skin it's cute can you see yeah that's cute yep yeah. for darker skin tones very nice very nice nice little liquid highlighter I mean um liner eyeliner y'all here we go again with this dog Seems like every time I want to sit and do a video is when he's barking. Goodness. And like I said in another video, my mother-in-law has moved in with us, y'all. Lord, Jesus, take the wheel. If you only knew. 
but that's another whole story while we're trying to find her somewhere else to live there is some situations but anyway we're trying to find her somewhere else to live um you know apartment or whatever but anywho right now she's staying with us and she doesn't like the dog so we have to keep the dog caged up which we he doesn't like um so you know for now we have to keep the dog in the cage most of the time except for when we're outside we keep him outside with us or whatever but he doesn't roam the house uh because she doesn't like the dog but anyway so he's in there and he barks more because he doesn't like to be in there you understand again whew, jesus please take the wheel and let's get this situation straight but again another whole story um so look i don't want to open the product without talking about it that's how frustrated i am with this situation anyway this is colored rain satin lipstick and vegan cruelty free and gluten free this is with the outside packaging look just a white box gold writing i've never owned anything from colored rain come on yeah, I've never owned anything from uh, Colored Rain, y'all. My hands are ashy. Whew. But anyway, this is what the packaging looks like. This is a cute little, I like the way this little lipstick tube is. It's cute. Very cute. Here's the color. Very, very melanin-y. For the darker skin people. There you go. So, that's very cute very very cute color uh yeah so yep there we go with that the next thing is this proper and beauty proper beauty luminous satin lipstick so it's another lat lipstick again all of these products are black black owned companies outside packaging oh the color is focused did I tell you what the color of this one is? Oh, it's whipped. I'm sorry. The lipstick from Colored Rain is called Whipped. Whipped. So, Whipped. All right. And then this packaging. It's cute. I feel like I've seen this shape and I mean, this like kind of, I don't know. I feel like I've seen this type of lipstick in something else before. The packaging, I mean. And here's this one. Also a dark color. For dark of skin people I'm not you know they're all black owned but I'm not going to say that they're only for black people because you know there's a lot of dark of skin people um, uh, range out there and you know even if some fair tones wanted to try it I'm sure they could hook it up with the right lip liner or right look I'm sure they could wear it as well but as far as the box and the owners they were you know intended for um, melanin people African American people dark of skin people this is from Mented and this is their new this is what it looks like this is a new lipstick here and this is their packaging I have one more from new uh, from Mented and here's this this is the color let's put this one next to the other all of these lipsticks though are very very super freaking creamy very very creamy feel really really good i like that one the most so far the one from minted is more of my color i mean i like this one too this luminous one what was that one the other one by that other company Prada Beauty, that's good too. I like that one too. But this minted one is is calling me. I can see it. That's pretty. Did I say the name of this one? This one is um in the color. Oh, and this is a matte. So yes, lip shade. Oh, it's called Nude La La Matte. Alrighty, very pretty. Okay, okay. And then the next thing is this palette right here. It is oh also by Colored Rain. It is the Smoke Show. Oh, outer packaging looks outer sleeve, which the inside is going to look exactly like this. Come on, people. All right, and then you got the uh, okay, and here are the colors. very very neutral and basic for anyone but again black owned okay
And then the last product in here is OPV Beauty Born to Shine but Blush Palette. Oh, blush palette. And this one is really um Sorry guys. It has plastic all over it. Technical difficulties. All right. And y'all, my son is acting more and more like a baby and it's driving me nuts. He's about to be seven next month. And he's up here crying and whining like he lost his mind because his grandmother's here and she babies him and lets him do whatever. <sighs> y'all, my situation has got to change. I mean, soon I am praying that this situation is over soon. For real. Got me all messed up and stressed it out. Well, not stressed like that, but y'all... I'm not even going to get into the relationship between us two. Even the relationship between my uh, husband and his mother. But, like I said, we got to get this situation rectified. Again, this is OPV Beauty, Beauty Born to Shine Blush Palette. This is cute. And let's go ahead into it. Oh, these are really pretty. Definitely, definitely. Um, uh, for our skin tone. These are so pretty. And look at the pan sizes, y'all. Woo! Very, very cute. Very cute. I like these. Okay. And that is all that's in this box. We had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven products uh, this time. And like I said, it was $39. As you know, with Trend Mood Box, it's not a monthly subscription. It's whenever they decide to put some products together and put it in a box and they'll give you the price based on all the stuff that they choose. Like I said, the first one that I got was $68. Um, and that had 11 or 12 products and it was fabulous. My first box was awesome. This is... Um, like I said, this is not volume seven. This is just an uh, additional box that they wanted to, you know, support black owned. Um, and this is uh, $39 for the, um, what did I say? Seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven products. $39, that's not bad either. And got good quality products. So I'm happy about that. Now, I was thinking it was going to be actually a little better than this. This is not a bad box by any means because you can do a whole uh you know look because we got the eyeshadow palette here we got a blush palette we got some lip products we got a highlighter um we got a liner so we can do a face which is actually what i'm going to do um when i finish talking here um but yeah I, you know it didn't really need to have uh three lipsticks that you know i thought could have been different one would have been fine maybe even two but three you know maybe they could have um put in maybe like a hot well no I think that's a highlight or maybe put in um something I don't know but I, don't, I just don't think that they should have did three lipsticks but who am I it's not my box but I'm happy with the box anyway you know <laughs> I love the first one better but I'm happy with the box it's okay I can you know I can definitely run with it so it's not a big deal um so yeah anyway like I was saying um now the only thing that I have on my face right now is this uh, three step Fenty now let me tell y'all so you know I know people know all about the Fenty skin that just that came out a week or two ago whenever it was I ordered it for I stayed up y'all can you believe that I stayed up until midnight to order this uh, so that I wouldn't miss it when it sold out because it did I think it's all probably back in stock by now but anyway I have on those three things and I think I've had this for what four or five days now but I've been using it morning and night all three uh, products morning and night and I must say my skin loves it and I like it I haven't had any issues with it um uh this moisturizer is my favorite it is like oh uh, it's it's good and when i say a little bit goes a long way a little bit goes a long way especially with the cleanser this lathers up so freaking well oh my gosh this is gonna last i mean really well maybe not because i use it twice a day but it still is gonna last um and I've been using it every day for four or five days, however long I've had it now. And it's amazing. So amazing. It's like silk. Both of them like silk. 
awesome and then the toner serum awesome 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 i like this too you see i've been like i said twice a day and look not it hasn't even barely moved hasn't even barely moved love it i love this too and um the moisturizer though is my favorite it is so it's like silky and you're just rubbing on and it's so hydrating look at my face y'all i have no look at it look at the shiny shine shine i don't even know if it's brightening i don't think it's brightening at all i don't believe but look at my face y'all it is got a little bit of a glow to it you know what i'm saying and I have nothing on but these three products. I've been using these three products only um, because, you know, it claims that that's all you need, which is really true. A cleanser, uh, um, a toner, and a uh, um, moisturizer. That's only three things you actually need to, to, to keep your face looking good. So that's all I've been using for the past five days. I haven't been using any serums. Uh, I haven't even been putting on masks, which, you know, the mask wouldn't matter, but I haven't been doing it. I've just been using these three day and night, five days, and it's amazing. Love it, love it, love it. Um, you know, but probably soon I'll get back into using all my serums and stuff. I just wanted to know that, you know, if using only the three products is as good as they say and it is because this basically has a serum in it as well as the toner you know what i'm saying so there you go but anyway I, that's all i have on my face right now as well as i use my uh, milani fruit fetish um lip balm which i got from my trend mood box volume six and uh did my eyebrows with the fenty eyebrow pencil here this one is in black brown and yeah that is it and when i do my face my makeup, I'm going to use the Too Faced makeup and I'm going to use the uh, the Fenty Hydrating um, Primer right here. And then I will probably put on some Moonshine Super Fruit Face Oil. Uh, yeah, and that'll get my face nice and hydrated and ready for the makeup application. So, yeah, I know I did a lot of talking. I'm sorry about that. But if you'd like to see a look that I'm going to create, which I have no idea right now, then please continue to watch.
the finished look guys and yeah this is everything that was in my trend mood box uh, featuring all black owned products and I must say the look is pretty cute I like it I like it I'm happy with it at first it was a little iffy iffy but you know it's all good so I used what I had and I did what I could so you know but anyway yeah it's all good and yeah I used everything that was in the palette I mean in the box and this is the look okay so let's talk about it shall we now the uh, colored rain smoke shadow palette here pretty basic um, palette but you know again it's supposed to be able to fit us um, African Americans and darker or deeper skin tone people so this is definitely it um, I use the green here to smoke out the ends and I use the naked eye this little neutral color right here close to skin tone but not really uh, in the inner portion of my eye here and I use this flammable color right here in the crease and above the crease and yeah and that is it as far as the colors I just used those three but the look came out pretty good like I said I like it it's pretty cool good enough for me and um yeah and then I used the OPV metal and liquid line uh glitter uh right above here just to give it a little bit of pop you know a little something something you know what i'm saying a little something something so i like this this is a good uh, glitter pen i like it i'll be using this again i know for sure and on my lips i did choose the minted um new what is this nude lala matte color i really like this as well um and it's this right here so definitely for deeper skin tones um I'm not real real happy about the color I don't know it's a little too brown for me I like brown and I like dark colors I do but I don't know I had it on alone but it just was just making this look too flat it just wasn't doing right for me so I needed something to just bam so what I did was I just added a little bit of um the OPV glitter log just in the center to give it a little bit of something something and then I added the um, Fenty diamond milk on top of that so I just put these two in the center that's all really not even that probably that noticeable but to me on my end looking in the mirror looks good to me it brought it out a lot better than it was and then to top that off um, I used this NYX lip liner and black cherry and then when I added the black cherry lip liner, brought me all the way back to 1990s, honey. Right after I had my son and stuff. Oh, yeah. Around the way, girl. That I was. Mm-hmm. I all know everybody used to wear that dark liner and the lip. Who you telling me? Anyway, okay. So, anywho. So, that's what I did. And I thought that really brought it out as well. I haven't worn dark liner with, man, in so long. But anyway, looks good to me. And, um... Oh yeah, and as far as the, the shadows, I think the shadows were nice. I think they were really nice. They blended nicely. It wasn't a lot of fallout, just some, you know, it's eye shadow, so it's going to have some. But um, yeah, they blended out nicely. Um, will I use this palette again? Probably not because, you know, it's not my favorite color story. Not that I have to use everything in here, but most likely, I mean, I'm just keeping it real. Y'all know so much stuff I probably won't ever pick it up again but not to say that it's not a nice palette um because it is i like it um like i said it's a smoke show so you can do it good i might want to try this black though one day i'm not sure but i can't say but you know on first glance i mean using it and stuff i don't think that i would pick it up again but the colors were nice they blended nice they are very uh pigmented you see that they all show up i didn't have any problems okay so that's good and then the OPB London OPV Beauty London Born to Shine blush palette. I really like the colors that I chose for my blush. They are now the blush is really pigmented, super super nice, and I love each and every. This definitely will be used many many times. Now today I just used these two colors in the middle. I mixed them. Those two in the middle. That's all. So um, yeah, things 
right here. I just mixed them, put them on. They're beautiful. I can't wait to try this one, even this one. So I was going to use this one today to go, you know, more with the glitter liner, but these two just called me. So yeah, very, very pigmented as well. Super pigmented. Super, super, super. Love it. And I will definitely, definitely be using this many times over. And what's the, oh, and the, um, zodiac cosmetics uh highlighter and zeus this is very nice it's a subtle highlight you know i like my stuff bang in your face i do even though i have textured skin but i don't care you know they tell you don't wear a lot of highlight because you have textured skin because it shows up more but y'all know i don't care i am who i am and my face is mine so whatever but um yeah this was very very nice i like it it's very subtle and it definitely is buildable because i was just building building more on this side than i was on this side i'm not going anywhere really today uh we go outside and grill but that's about it but nothing uh special for me today so i think you know it looks good literally good but yeah this was very nice too and um yeah and that is it today the lashes that i'm wearing are from glam light they are the paint splash lashes this is the style uh something oh this is the style orange and yeah this is the ones that i have on very very pretty i love these lashes they are so pretty but yeah so that's what i have on and that is it that's everything and again i did really enjoy this box i thought that it could have been just a bit better well no i'm not gonna say better i don't think they should have put in three different lipsticks that's really, they should have added a different product instead of three different lipsticks but it's all good it's all good i have no complaints like that but anyway thank you so much for watching everybody if you have not done so already please hit that subscribe button like and comment and i'll see you in the next video